So HCG, um, it is used alongside TRT. It's also used as a monotherapy sometimes. We know it's used for fertility, pre-IVF and things like that. Um, but if you want to know what the best doses are, um, how best potentially to use it, keep watching. Best HCG dose and also potential doses. Um, but if you want to know what the best doses are, um, what, yeah, what do you think about best HCG dose? George, what do you think about the best? H I mean, uh, obviously Nelson's put his thing across best HCG dose. dose I'm using monotherapy. Yeah. I'm using a pen that, that has clicks and one click is 250. So I'm using 250 every day, which is 1500 per week. Now, back when it used to have Brignil, uh, it came in 1500 I use in one ml. So I was cutting in 10 pieces and I was using 150 every day. That makes 1000 roughly per week. So I believe that less than 1000, it's not so productive, you know? So you need to, to hit thousand and above. Too much of it, however, it may give you some uh, edema. And I have to tell you before going on vacations this summer, I couldn't carry with me HG because I had to, you know, it requires a fridge. So I injected in one dose, uh, 2000 I use. And frankly, the next day I had a lump in my nipple and I had to use tamoxifen 40 grams a day in order to diminish this. HG itself doesn't aromatize, but it's the conversion to testosterone that will aromatize eventually. So indirectly, we will increase estrogens through this pathway, you know? And I believe my, uh, microdosing such as microdosing of testosterone is, is the real deal to do. Do you think, Nelson, you had mentioned that, um, you know, according to some of the studies, there was a 500 IU of, of HCG three times a week that showed an effective increase in intratesticular testosterone. So um, is it, could it be the area under the curve, the total volume of, of the HCG that matters, yeah, or is it those dose? They actually, they actually showed uh, improvements at 350, by the way, 350 to 500. Um, Dr. Lipschultz picked the 500 because I guess it's, it's a lot safer to maybe have picked 350 would have been 50% effectiveness in a 66%. So it could be 350 to 500. They're in the car. Well, so you're doing 250 a day. That probably will work. I think what George said is 100% is right. A thousand I use uh, a week, uh, under a thousand I use a week, you're, you're basically doing very little. I do believe there is some area under the curve there. Um, obviously, 1,500, five, three times a week is, I don't do three times a week. I do 500 twice a week for mm -hmm. testicular atrophy. That works for me. Uh, I'm not looking to, as I said, to father a child. So, which is really, I, I tell people, and, and guys on Excel may have tried twice a week or three times a week for fathering a child. And the only success I've heard is from those that are doing 500, I use three times a week. So it depends on, on really what you want to do. The, the data on testicular atrophy is not there. So you're also, but My you suggestion know, is if you can afford it, use it. If you can afford it, because that's another issue. It is an additional cost. But of course it costs. And it has OCD effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all about cost. I mean, if you're a rich man, I mean, a privilege in the United States, you can pretty much get what you want um, in blood testing. Them. But it's about cost. I mean, uh, and it's about also screwing up. The only thing we have, we have probably one study, but yeah, testosterone and anabolic steroids decrease Pregnolone, progesterone, DHEA. Yes, the cascade, the shut off the cascade. Yeah. So what happens if you make those, I mean, we have very little data though on pregnolone, progesterone in men, the function in brain function, very little. The more I dig, I, I really have spent a lot of time on that. Um, but this doesn't mean that they don't, they don't have a function. I don't think- Neurosteroid, anything, neurosteroid, yes. Yeah, there's nothing in that cascade that nature made that is wasteful or not needed. Like uh, I tell guys, estradiol is not toxic, DHT is not. Everything is evolution created a cascade where every single element of that tree has a function. Yes, we're shutting down almost the entire tree because we want this guy at the bottom, testosterone, to be good. It does that not have long-term consequences. Am I a more effective brain, my brain function on HCG than I was before? I have to say like last decade, it has been the most productive of my life. Uh, yeah, I'm getting older, I'm 61, but I always question, if I had started HCG 34 years ago, would have my brain capacity even been even better. So 
all these questions that we have no answers because nobody's looking into them. Nobody's doing the studies. So, so thanks for, for joining us guys today. Um, it's been really helpful. And if you guys like these videos, please like, subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell and comment underneath if you've got questions or, or you'd like to, uh, uh, to get involved. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.